Once, it must have been the year 1989, a guy named Kolya lived here. But he wasn't doing well. Day in and day out, always the same chores. So, my dears. Always remember, guys. If you have something that means something to you, never let it go. That applies to you too, Isolde. And you, Richard, are just as withered as I am. Us too. Always waiting our turn. Never making a fuss. Work in the morning, home in the evening. To hell with it. We're better than that. Yes, you too, Clara. What do you think? Who? Mirko? No, my disappearing housemaid still hasn't reported back. His letter must be still in the mail. <laughs> Sorry. The idea's just too funny for me. So, anyone still thirsty? I believe in integrity and loyalty. I don't shirk my responsibilities. Uh, what the? I think I'm seeing ghosts. Eric, you little snitch. Did you see anything? No, nothing here. Nothing at the window either. Thank you, Eric. It wasn't a ghost after all. Something really did flutter in. A paper plane with writing on it. What is this? Airmail from the West? Hey, you there. Your orchid's head is hanging very low. So's yours. Do you maybe need some water? Or someone to talk to? Ah, there's a telephone number. And there's more. Greetings from the other side? They're asking if I need someone to talk to, Eric. Someone actually went through the trouble of throwing a paper aeroplane over the wall. Over the wall! Then it lands in the hands of the biggest loser east of the west. Don't be so hard on yourself, comrade. At least you're reliable at consistently failing. Oh, thank you. Very empathetic, Eric. There's a phone number here. Do you know what that means? Based on the area code, this number is from the other side. In other words, a fascist number. Calling it would be an incredibly stupid idea. Thanks for the assessment, Eric. I never knew there were so many ways to fold a piece of paper. I'm choosing this model. Looks like it's the easiest. Ah, oh, what should I even write? All right, let's see. Hello, mysterious stranger. Thank you for your letter. I'm afraid water alone won't be enough. At least, not for me. The orchid is not actually an orchid. It is, in fact, a toad lily. My old housemate left it behind along with me. No, I better leave out that part. Okay. Hmm. Somehow, I now feel like I'm being watched. Who are you, anyway? There's wishes... Collier. Mm, one side's turned out a bit wonky. I hope it doesn't affect the aerodynamics. Now, just to aim it correctly... Did it!